Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today in this video we will have a relook at Galaxy Note 8. This is the Galaxy Note 8. This is my primary phone before this iPhone 11 Pro. I've been using this phone since February 2018 and uh, I have some mixed experience with this Galaxy Note 8 and in this video we will go through one by one what is my thought and what is my experience with this device? Starting with the build quality of this phone, as you can see, this phone is having glass back, which is covered by a skin from Gadget Shield, which I've been using across all my smartphones. And uh, I have made some videos about the Gadget Shield skins. So for that, you can check in my channel or I'll give the link in the description. And this is the Gadget Shield uh, skin. Talking about the build quality, this phone is having glass back as well as metal around and uh, this is the s pen this is the speaker grill and this is the type c charging port and this is the microphone and headphone jack so this phone is having the headphone jack and that is very good because now samsung has already removed the headphone jack from their flagships so this phone has a headphone jack and the belt quality is very good next about the display this to be honest samsung always makes the best display in the market even if you are looking at galaxy note 10 or note 10 plus now those phones have very good displays so samsung always makes good displays because their amoled panels are very good uh, as you can see this phone is having a 2k display and uh, if i'll show you the resolution of the screen now by default in the factory set setting it comes with the 1080p display setting but now if, uh, if we'll go to display and you can see it's in 1080p you can uh, select the 2k and if you'll apply it then you can see this phone is having a very good display i don't think this camera or this uh, this camera will make justice but if you if you are looking at the phone directly then definitely you'll be knowing that this phone is having a very good display but my experience with this device till now yes this phone launched uh, in 2017 end if i'm not wrong um, because that time samsung had the incident with galaxy note 7 and then they launched this galaxy note 8 with a smaller battery life that is the only problem uh, with this phone because this phone is having a very small battery and with a very large screen like this with the uh, stylus and two cameras this uh, fingerprint scanner all this thing this iris scanner all this thing uh, all these things are driven by a smaller battery so that is the only problem with this phone is that the battery life is not that good i have to charge this device now twice a day yes twice a day i know i'm a very hardcore user I use my phone always in a day so uh, with my kind of uses I have to charge this device twice a day uh, if I'm starting my day at 8 a.m. in the morning by 2 30 or 3 again I have to charge this phone uh, that is with my uses if you are a normal user then for you this battery can go up to evening of a day but for me I have to charge this device twice a day and uh, I don't mind that thing guys because anyways I am in office so I am not traveling I am I used to sit in office and do my work so it's not a big problem for me anyways next talking about the camera this phone is having a 12 megapixel dual setup camera with one is for telephoto and one is a normal camera so this camera is very good typical Samsung cameras you will get the puncture color you will get the saturated photos all this thing typical samsung cameras so for camera i don't have any problem anyways now there are so many phones in a budget range having great cameras but this phone is also having a good camera We're talking about the specification like 12 megapixel dual setup this phone is having good camera but only the problem is that if you're taking pictures in night or low light then this camera struggles a little bit talking about my experience with this phone I have, I, I told, I have mixed experience with this phone. The performance is very good. The problem is with the battery life. Performance, if I'll uh, say that 
I used to play normal games. I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I used to play games like PUBG and Call of Duty, all these things in this phone. And yes, this phone can easily handle all those big games. Next is the hitting issue. This phone doesn't have any kind of hitting issue. Minor hit, you will get minor hitting issue if you are playing a game continuously for 20 or 30 minutes. That is a regular with all the phones because these phones are having glass backs and definitely you will feel the, the other functionality of this device as a galaxy note series phone definitely you will be getting this stylus with this phone now the galaxy note 9 and galaxy note 10 has all these gimmicks like this stylus are having batteries inside and they are having the sensors inside so that they can control your phone kind of a remote but to be honest practically you will be not using this features regularly but what you can you are using is only the stylus i use the stylus for the video editing and some scrolling web pages and reading pdfs i i'm using this stylus and not always but yeah in a day hardly i open this stylus for once or twice so that is not a necessary one but if you are having this in your phone that is good enough so these are my thoughts with this Galaxy Note 8 after using it for almost two years. Uh, so if you are a Galaxy Note 8 user, then please share your thoughts with this Galaxy Note 8. So thanks for watching guys. This is a quick video about this Note 8. Hope you like this video. If you do, then please like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.